Hello friends, welcome to another video. This video is based on a, a question posted on Power BI community forum. Really interesting question and uh, when I was traveling, uh, I had an opportunity to look at it because I find it very interesting and uh, I gave the answer on the community forum and that was the accepted answer. Let's look at the post and uh, understand the problem and then we will look into the solution. So here the uh, user um, operator entered the question is like all is not working as expected when putting columns of one dimension table into metrics. Uh, I will post the link of this particular question uh, in the description of this video. Do check out because uh, I really give the kudos to uh, the operator who posted this question because it was very well detailed information was provided, uh, what is not working, what user has tried and uh, what he's expecting to do. Uh, the underlying problem is the all function based on the question is not working. And if we look into that, there is a very simple data model. I'll quickly show these. Uh, what we have here is a customer table product and connected to the sales table. And then this is just the sample data, how they are connected. And here, um, what um, he explained, he explained, okay, my year is just a sum of sales one uh, amount. And then the my year two is where user is specifically filtering on a customer group A. Again, the customer group uh, category group uh, is in the customer table. He wanted to see a only C group A uh, sales. And uh, he showed all these uh, visuals here that everything is working. But in this one unique case, when he is using customer and the category group, he expected to see 529, 726 and 529, 726 values repeated for customer group B and customer group C. And the reason why he is expecting this to be work because he has put remove the filter on the category group with all and then just filter for category group A. So the expected behavior is that for each category group, these values should show up and repeat for category group A. So uh, theoretically, this should work in all case scenarios, it works, but only in this one specific scenario when he's using customer name from the customer table and category group on the columns from the customer table, the, the DAX measure is not working. Um, so let's take a look at that, why it is not working and uh, what is the fix for it. I'm going to jump into Power BI and uh, I created the sample data model uh, based on what um, I provided on the community forum and just use that to showcase. So here it is a pretty, again, a same data model, customer and product. So if you look at the raw data here in the matrix one, we have a customer on, on the rows and customer group or category group on columns. So what we have is for C1 and C2, which are part of category group A, this is their sale. C3 is part of category group B and that's its sale. And C4 and 5 part of category group C, 4, 5, 6 and 88 is their sale. So that's, that's basically the raw data. So in the measure, user specifically remove the filter from the category group uh, from the customer table and uh, filter it for only C group A. So we expected these numbers to be shown up in the category B and category C as well. So let's look at the, the measure here. So this is a simple measure. So what we have is some sales where customer category group is C group A. So that's what we're filtering because either we say filter all customer category group. This measure is converted to uh, basically this all category customer category group and then so e either you use filter and all uh, like this and uh, or you simply say customer category group is equal to C group A uh, that both means the same so I can uh, remove this I don't need it um, I just want to show you guys what this means so basically that remove any filter on the category group. So that's that's the measure. And uh, now I'm using this measure in all these visuals here just to show. 
So if I'm looking by customer one and customer uh, two, you're putting the customer on the rows. And of course, now we're seeing 529, 726 because I'm using the new Mayasam sales group A, that's what I call it. So I'm only seeing the C1 and C2 because they are the only part of C uh, group A, which is perfectly fine. When I'm looking by product, again, I'm getting P1 and P2, uh, same value. Uh, now, this, this is the problem area because here when I'm looking at the customer and uh, customer group A, B, C, I expected this. Look at the total level. Total level, it is showing 1255. It shows a number fine. But when it is at the C1 and C2 level, this is not working. And we expect to see because we are removing the filter on category group and we expect to these numbers to be get repeated on each and every category. So why this is not working? So let me like what is how I debug it and uh, why this is not working. Also, if you if you look at this new measure by a category group, everything works perfectly fine. So if I just I have another visual, like just copy it here. So if you look at that, I put a category group A, B, C on the uh, uh, category group on the rows and some sales group A, as you can see, it's getting repeated. So it is working on a group. Uh, if we look at the data by group as well. So this is expected result. But as soon as we use the customer name and the category group on the same visual, we are not getting the same result, but at the total we are getting, but not at the at the row level. Uh, let me show you one another example here. I have another visual here, which I just created and copied from another page. So I'm putting category group again on my rows and the products on P1, P2. And as you can see, uh, it is repeating for each product the same uh, number. So everything is working as expected, as I said. And also, as mentioned in the post on the community forum, everything is working as expected, but only in this one use case when we're using columns from the customer table, uh, this is not working. And uh, what I did is I created another uh, page uh, duplicate and I debug there and see what is happening in there. So if we go to this particular page and let me, let me remove everything else here so again this is our raw data and this is what the problem is and let's remove this so here i'm using a a debug measure so i put the customer on the rows and c group abc again category on the columns and if i go to the debug measure this is what i'm using here so what i'm doing again the same thing i'm filtering on customer category group a and then adding the sales to that created table and concatenate Acts and I just concatenating the category group and the sales to see what values I'm getting. So if you look at, so I'm using this measure now in 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 the visual here. So as you can see, for category group A, we are getting five hundred twenty nine dollars sales, seven twenty six, which is correct because that is the sales of category group A. But when it go to category group B and we are not the debug is not returning any value we expected to see the same c group a 529 here and c group a 726 here and similarly we should be seeing those two debug values here now why this is happening why this is not working and this is actually a auto exist uh, the issue is with the auto exist and that's why it is highly recommended to use the star schema and uh, make the dimension model and I don't want to go into the details of the auto exist but that is the underlying problem why this is happening and I will share the link of the SQL BI guys they have done an amazing blog post and a video on this thing uh, talking about auto exist and uh, I will share the link do read about that but again this goes back to how important it is to have a, a, a dimension model, a star schema in Power BI. Otherwise, these small um, DAX functions which you expected or Maya you expected to work, they are not working as expected. So what is the solution for this? So uh, what I did is I did created a, another table called category group. I created a dimension and uh, I wanted to show you guys that. So I created a, another dimension. So this is the original layout. Um, but if I go back to the newer one, I created a, another dimension called category group. 
and directly linked it with the sales table before the category group was part of the customer but we took it out from there but created another dimension and connected it with the sales table and now once this is linked to the sales table directly and uh, I'm gonna go to the fixed uh, page here so what I have is again the same raw data so here what we're seeing here is now I created a new measure and this new measure is called similarly some sales but now instead of using customer category group I'm using the new dimension which I created category group and just filter it for C group A and uh, in my visuals now I'm I'm uh, dropping my customer from my uh, my customer table category I'm dropping it from my using it from my new dimensional table and my new measure and this is what we were expecting uh, in our original uh, without improving the data model we this is what we were expecting what we were getting the blank value as now you can see even we are on a group B and group C and C1 and C2 does not have a sale for group B and group C since our measure is filtered for group A and we are removing all other filter which are coming on the category and we are seeing the repeated value on our uh, um, on our visual under category group B and category group C and similarly I created same I improved the debug measure as well and just to show in case you guys as uh, you can see now in group A of course I'm getting for C1 and C2 529 726 and for group B I'm getting the same 529 726 529 7 and nothing else because we don't have any sales for category group for these particular products Again, now the difference between these two, if we go back, take this visual to our uh, our duplicate page here, just side by side. Uh, let's put it here. I'm going to remove this one. And put it next to each other. As you can see here, we were not getting the value in group B and group C uh, because of auto exist. Again, there was nothing wrong with the measures. But because we're using the column from the same dimension table and auto exist kicks in and that was the reason why we were not it was not working when we created a new dimension table and everything we just we did not made a change to our measure we just refer to the new dimension table to filter our category and now everything worked perfectly fine this this is just a in in theoretically this looks a very very simple um like uh, you can get caught into this thing why this is not working even your DAX is correct everything is correct again auto exist can be um, hard to uh, debug and find out why it is what's going on so do read SQL BI's uh, blog post very well detailed information in that and also that tells the importance of the dimension modeling and the star schema I hope you find this video useful if you are running into this kind of challenge uh, challenges what is the solution why you are seeing the DAX measure is not working. Uh, I hope it answers some of those questions. Until next video, have a great day. Do subscribe my channel. Again, as I said, I was away for a few months and now I'm back and will be bringing a lot more videos. Stay tuned. Do subscribe my channel. Until next video, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.